Joining us now is former Richmond Fed President Jeff Lacker. Jeff, it's good to see you. It's been a while. So, so you, you would be in favor of hiking today? Yeah, I think there's a strong case they're going to ultimately need to do more. Um, if you look at the historical relationships between the federal funds rate, uh, current uh, inflation on a four-quarter basis, and the average unemployment rate, um, the relationships suggest that uh, where we are now, they're going to need rates over seven. Now, whether they need to go that high or not remains to be seen. If inflation was at three and a half percent, as they used, as they forecasted in March for the end of this year, and the unemployment rate was four and a half percent, five would be fine and likely to do the job. Uh, but uh, inflation has proved more persistent over the last six months. The headline numbers, the 12 month numbers look great. They're all coming down. You, I see it there, the PPI and the CPI on the screen. Yep. Uh, but if you look underneath at the month to month core numbers, uh, those have been steady at around 5% at an annual rate in the last six months. And the, we've got substantial momentum baked into uh, wage gains. And uh, those don't seem to be abating right now as well. So I think. Um, that, coupled with the strength in the labor market and spending, suggests they haven't done enough to raise the real interest rate and give people an incentive to delay spending. So they haven't really done enough to restrain spending growth in dollar terms. And that's what it's going to take to reduce inflation. Given that, why yeah. pause now? Why not get ahead with it? So what you, what you say about the real rate is really interesting because it doesn't get a lot of attention and play. Can you just explain why that's important and whether you think the Fed is looking at that? Because with these inflationary numbers, the real rate is actually pretty low, right? They are looking at it. I know behind the scenes, they must discuss it that way. But um, in their public communications, they're occasionally garbling this message and and not really getting, getting it right. Um, so the real interest rate, the inflation adjusted interest rate, is the actual incentive that interest rates provide to people to delay spending, uh, to reduce outlays now in favor of outlays later. Same thing for businesses looking at capital investment. It's the incentive they have uh, to re reduce capital outlays now and, and delay and spend later. And that's the lever the Fed has. When the Fed funds rates at 5%, is that high or low? Well, it depends on what inflation is. And if inflation is going to be 5% over the next year, it's not very high. It's just a, a barely a smidge over zero uh, of a real federal funds rate. And that's the, the real lever they're acting on. And the historical data is pretty clear. You have to get up that, that to up above 1% or 2% in order to have a serious uh, effect on inflation. I think if they start talking about that, the market would take it very poorly as a very hawkish message, which it doesn't, it doesn't sound like this Fed, Jeff, wants to do a whole lot more. They're worried about credit conditions. They're potentially worried about commercial real estate. They're worried about lags. I chose lag as the word of the day because... We haven't really seen the lagged impact of monetary policy right now. And if you look at all the trends on inflation, I know you say we're still too high. A lot of that is things like shelter, which we know lags, used cars, which are kind of an anomaly. They need to raise rates to deal with used cars and car insurance costs? Uh, there's always something. There's always some category that it's a little higher than others. But when you aggregate it all together, that's what counts. I think they, they deserve a lot of credit for moving so rapidly last year to make up for waiting so long um, from 21 to 22 before they got started tightening rates. Uh, but for the last few months, they've been signaling they might be uh, willing to try and skate by with an inflation with an interest rate of just above five percent, hoping that inflation would come down a bit on its own to make that a a, a good reasonable uh, rate in terms of getting inflation down. Uh, but I think the evidence that's come in over the last um, several months, particularly since the beginning of the year, suggests they're not getting the good luck uh, that they hoped for. Um, they're not going to get inflation down to. 3.3% this year, for example, I don't think. Um, so I think they need to, to consider uh, messaging that prepares markets for um, some more rate hikes going forward. And that's, of course, what everyone's going to be watching for in the press conference today.